Hey, Banjo Tooie won the vote. It's been a while since we played it last. We're about to find out whether uh, predictions hold true. Last episode, everyone was like, there's no way you're going to remember what you were doing or where to go or which jiggies are remaining. And that's probably true. But I'll do my best. Um, because if there's stuff that I should know, feel free to speak up and say, hey, you should have learned this in the first four hours or in the previous game. We'll be playing it once a week now. So now I should only forget things normally instead of over several months. Yeah, because this one you can't just like completely clear a level, right? Because you need progression from later stages. Be able to get everything. I like to play Nuts and Bolts. It counts as an awesome game, right? See if I run into progress. Cheeto Page is probably a little light right okay. We already talked to him, but let me see if anything new happened in this room now. So living fainting couch. I can't really deal with him yet because he's all zombified. Just recently opened a new level. That was out along the cliffside, wasn't it? There's not like an in-game map, is there? Jolly Roger something something. This is where I can turn in the color Jinjos, right? She told me Jolly Roger Bay was the name of a level in Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario, any of the 3D Mario games in this game, I would believe you. Silo in the center of town. What does it look like? It's not the Jinja houses, right? I don't think I actually came back here very much. It's got green lights. Oh, this guy. That's right. Yeah, instead of having a bunch of confusing one to one locations. Well, this is where I was last time. To Ye Lagoon. Okay, so I need two more jigsaws to get to the lagoon. I know how to get there now. I don't think I can get into this one for a while, but I'll double check real quick. That one requires 24. Don't have this wall climb ability yet. So I forget, do jigsaws spawn in the uh, uh, overworld as well, or only in actual levels? Let 
I'm both the bird and the bear. Depending on what I'm doing. This is pretty common back in uh, this era. And you can only take him so far in this form, right? Yeah. So I guess Mumbo can't do anything on the cliffside until I get the train out from there. Practically a gulch mine. Yeah, because I have to pick up two more jigsaws. I can't, I've pretty much done everything I can do in the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, amusement park level, right? Those are pretty cool level. I feel like I would be doing this even if I didn't have a time gap in between sessions. Actually, I'm curious whether Ukulele has like uh, like a world map or some kind of like tracking. Not done in the amusement park. Yeah, we ended last session with the amusement park. So I was gonna pop in there and see if there was stuff. But yeah, if you think that there's the easy, the most possible jigsaws are in the mine, I'll go there first. That makes sense. Kazooie, because I just wouldn't leave a level until I got everything. But we'll have to like do a tour at the end of the game, like try to avoid getting too many optional jiggies. This is the Metroidvania problem, right? Like if you go back through the entire map as soon as you get double jump, you're gonna have to do it again once you get the dash, and do it again once you get space jump. So you're almost better off like waiting until you have all the upgrades, then going back and getting everything once. I wonder if I can go in that water and live. So can I kill these boxes? I can. Barrels are not destructible. The water does not kill me, that's good. There also appears to be no reason to swim it. Hi, Mom, did you ever get a chance to check out Banjo and Kazooie's moveset in uh, the new Smash Brothers game? It's just really impressive how respectful of the franchise they are. Should I Roger Lagoon Water? tools to open those uh, Kazooie boulders, right? Kai Mom says, hi, Andrea's voice. Ha, I'll be right there. I don't like the Dragon Quest hero at all. 
Yeah, I feel like they did a great job of, like, emulating Dragon Quest with the Dragon Quest hero, but I don't know if that's great for Spanish. Okay, so it's non-helicopter controls. There must have been, like, a... Oh, no, no, here. Ice. Thank you. Cheeto page. Okay, so mental note that I'll maybe remember for next week. This path down here that has the two silos of water in it, there's a boulder in there that requires a Kazooie power-up to bust open. It's an in-level warp. We did this machine last time, so this is done. Let's open some stuff on the roof. I basically just have to go through the parts of the level and try to rule them out. There's one, but I don't know if I can get to it. So actually in this case I will just ask, can I get to that guy? With my current power-ups. Guessing I cannot reach it. Cannot. Okay, thanks. My birthday weekend has begun! Hey, Andrea. Birthday weekend hype! Don't have to work tomorrow! I like your song. Have my birthday on Saturday! It's the week of Andrea. <laughs> hey, birthday weekend! Oh, since we have an international crowd, I had a question. I think it's an okay question. <laughs> I don't know if we have any okay. British people in chat. Yeah, alright, so what I want to know is, is calling people from the UK any worse like, is calling them Brits any worse than calling them British? Because I recognize that they aren't all British. But we have a, a conference right now with our UK colleagues, and I hear everyone calling them Brits, and I'm like, is that okay? Given that some of them may not be British. It, so, it, is that okay? Is that not okay? Should I just... Well, I can't call them English either, right? Because... Isn't that also a small part of the UK? So this boulder does not have a... Never mind, it works. Okay, well, I didn't know if people in Europe, you know, like Europe's all basically the same thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so can I... Folks, can you please help me with this thing that's super innocuous? It's probably not offensive to anyone. <laughs> Well, I figured I'd ask you super offensive thing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she was being facetious, but still. Calling him Brits isn't a See, I, and I hear everyone doing it, but for some reason it sounds like it should be offensive. Canucks. <laughs> I didn't realize they were called Canucks unsubscribed. <laughs> Why are they called Canucks? Why, why not, like... You've never heard Canuck before? Why not Kageese? They have geese, right? Not ducks. It's not supposed to be like ducks. Ow. They do a really good job with, uh... The... Golden Don't Umbo. use the word Kanak. Oh shit, I just said it. Oh, it's a hockey team, okay. I only know- wait. The red flyers are ours, right? Isn't that a isn't that a hockey team? Um. That's true. I should just ask the Brits. 
Oh, so I had, um, it was a poster session at the conference where I was showing my poster. It was a little slow at the beginning, but it picked up. Um, I was trying a new thing where I just put two sentences in the top third of it. So it was like, if you just take away anything, take away this. And I saw people stop, wait for like four seconds, and then leave, so I assumed that they read it. Um, but they didn't want to talk to me about okay. it, which is fine. But anyway, I had, it was all worth it because I had a conversation with a Brit who was analyzing uh, some data from an experiment that I did a year ago. And he's like, oh, I just used the PV data. I ignored the BLR data. BLR is what I worked on. And I was like, let me tell you why you shouldn't ignore the BLR data. It's the shit. Let me tell you why you shouldn't ignore the thing that I do. Yeah. And I think I convinced him. He was like, he seemed really excited. He's like, I'm so glad I talked to you. I was like, you're welcome. Yeah. Ooh, new worlders. I kind of like that. Right, because they're not all British. Okay, well, I'll just so call I'm them Yucadians. Shooting them is bad in general. Melee is supposed to be what defuses them, and they told me I needed the melee to get in there. Colonialists. Thanks, Neo. Okay, that makes sense. And then I only have 200 seconds from the first disarm to disarm the rest of them. It sounds like calling them English is probably the most polite. So what is is Kazooie like snipping the fuse or something? Like why is meleeing them shutting them off? Probably yeah. helps to know where they all are before you start hitting them. So there's a notorious, um... Oh, is it really? Yes. Oh, let me you just... don't want to call, call people British? English. Don't call them English. Okay, shit. Or, or call the UK yeah. England. Can I call them Shakespeare Spawn? How about that? No? Sorry. <laughs> I can do better. No, 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 I can do better. Can I call them queen bitches? What about queen bitches? They like the queen? Queen's bitches. Oh, that's cute. Folks from across the pond is pretty safe. Fortunately, they make bouncing noises in the distance, so I can hear them. It looks like the time limit. Well, anyway, so this guy, this notoriously yeah. blunt, uh, gets excited, calls people fucking morons, that kind of person. He was giving a plenary talk, so everyone at the conference was there. And he was doing such a good job. I mean, he was pretty blunt. He's like, I'm just gonna assume you know what me scattering is, and if you don't, then go look it up. Right? Okay, classic Billy. So he's an asshole, is what he's he is. He's an asshole, fine. Anyway, person. so he gets, besides the bee scattering thing, he's doing a really good job. He's, you know, telling us what he does, he's being pretty clear, and he gets to the end and he's like, all right, let me tell you my main summary. Seriously. And let me tell you that everyone, the Brits, the French, the Chinese, everyone in the world gets this wrong except for me. And I'm just like, I'm sitting there laughing. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, Billy, you were doing so well! And then you went and called everyone in the world an idiot. Good job. You still have a job because physics Good and academia job. are toxic and they reward shitty personalities like that. Dude, I don't know. Maybe he's, uh. I mean, he didn't swear. <laughs> Sounds like you have a low bar for him to pass. Yeah. 
but yeah. It's like, dude, don't specifically call out the Brits when they're our guest at this conference. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh my gosh, come on. Uh, what is happening? You're failing. I don't know where the last one is. Alright, try it again. So if you don't know who the hell this is and what she's ranting about, this is my oh. wife Andrea. She's a Hi. physicist. She works at the Los Alamos National Lab here in New Mexico. Inspiration for Black Mesa in Half-Life 2. She we totally are not growing kaiju in the giant water tanks in Mexico that I work on. She previously... Totally not doing kaiju. Previously worked on astrophysics and now does, like, X-Division nuclear weapon certification. Next stuff. way <laughs> quick. Yeah, it's work. pretty sweet. I get to solve puzzles all day. Yeah, I was excited to show the work because now I've kind of shifted more into the stockpile stewardship, as they call it, nuclear certification realm. And it's really fun because I actually get to do a lot of hands-on hardware stuff. We, uh, the, the short answer, or short way of saying what I specifically do is I blow shit up and measure it with lasers. And then they use that data to test their codes of how they think a nuclear bomb works. And if they say, oh, this doesn't match the data, then that means they're wrong and that they need to change their codes. Or if it does match the data, it means that they're right. And we should probably trust that their codes, because we don't actually blow up nuclear weapons anymore. I haven't done that since 1992. You know, back in the day, you used to be able to like, oh, let's try this. Does it work? You can actually tell pretty clearly. We've kind of agreed not to do that. So. Now we don't do that. But so that means we have to rely on codes. Simulations. I can hear them bouncing. I feel like I'm actually doing worse on time this time. Why don't you just do it systematically? I can't tell the difference between the rooms. Right, that's why you do it systematically. You always turn right when you get back to that room. I could try. Or you always turn left when you get at, back to this room. Yeah, but that requires recognizing this room. Oh, it's the room with the, you know, balcony. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I don't work in uh, intelligence. Although I feel like that would be a lot harder to like, keep things all hush-hush, because I do have a clearance, so I can't tell everyone everything. <laughs> I come home and tell Dan, I'm like, okay, I'm working on this project, it's and hard. someone is working on a similar project, and they won't work with me because they think that they don't need me. And I want to work with them, but I don't know why they don't want to work with me. And... I, I prefer that method of scientific <laughs> storytelling, to be honest. It's like we're trying to figure out a way to sell your astrophysics research to the Department of Energy without using any scientific terms or plots. So like, this is probably gonna take me a couple more attempts. This is the last one is really brutal to try to find. Although if you're interested in learning more about, you know, the US nuclear plan, there's a thing called the nuclear posture review. It's unclassified. It's got a lot of cool stuff in there. I probably need to do what Andrea says and just always turn right. Hey, Ludifex! Jinx. Ludifex isn't British, is he? No. Damn it. I met Ludifex on the plane to PAX. Oh, right! He's from California. I feel like I'm going to be scouting them anyway. I'm going to try just doing it as I do. Always turn right. Yeah, actually, fun fact. Um, 
gamma ray bursts were originally detected at Los Alamos because Los Alamos had these satellites for detecting gamma rays, but they were pointing at Earth to try to see if anyone was doing something they shouldn't be doing that makes gamma rays. But they kept getting this background coming from the butt, and so they are like, oh. What do you mean when you say the butt? The back. The back. So the thing, right, satellites pointing at Earth, but they're getting stuff from the back. So they're like, oh man, we don't have to worry about North Korea making bombs. It's the universe is making bombs, apparently. That was a joke. Trying to manage the levels while always turning right is a little complicated, but. This reminds me of Yoshi. The music? Yeah. Not this part. As soon as I end up back in a room I was already in, it's gonna fail though. I think that's already happened. Yeah, now I'm back at the beginning. And I've turned right at every opportunity, so what should I do now? Um, not turn right when it brings you back to the beginning. <laughs> See, that requires knowing where the hell anything is in relation to each other. I have a poodoo brain or something, like these rooms all look identical to me, even the ones are different color. <laughs> Giving a hard time means you care. But yeah, Leon is right. It's not, like, technically a treaty or anything. It's just sort of a gentleman's agreement to not do full-scale nuclear tests. At least that's my understanding. Yeah. Your maze is oh, and the fact two. that I can go up and down yeah. several planes, actually. Good luck! Down to one every time. Yeah. yeah, I tend to not get too lost in games. Yeah. I just cannot develop a mental map of this yeah. at all for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. They've definitely made the effort to try to make the areas visually distinct from each other. Yeah. I don't know if it's like the field of view or something. I don't even hear the bouncing this time. Last time, at least I heard bouncing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and you fucked up again. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, there you go. Do it plane by plane. I'll try. How long have you been at this? Since you sat down. I think the enemies all respawn. It's a good idea though, Stormlock. I think I'm back at the beginning, but I hear bouncing coming from straight ahead of me. Let me try leaving and restarting. It's hard to do it by plane because, like, there are multiple areas on the highest plane that are accessible from different sections of the area. I think I just gotta run through it and hope that I run into the last one before time runs out. This game's a great soundtrack. Context sensitive. This is supposed to be like a GoldenEye reference. It's rare, it came out after GoldenEye. 
Banjo actually has this ability in Smash, which I thought was cool. Is he sneezing? He's having Kazooie dash forward to snip the... Sounds like he's going, Achoo! Achoo! It's she, Kazooie's a she. Sorry, I always forget. I was just gonna say, you know, it would be really easy for me to tell if she was a girl if she had huge tits and a thong. Maybe that's why they all do that. Mars said after dark, ladies and gentlemen. This game did have inappropriate credits characters in the first game, sort of like the Booth Babes or the... I forget the racing version of it. Grid Girls in... Crash Team Racing. Oh, the... Not Boots Babes. Grid Girls. Grid Girls? Don't, That's what they're called? You don't listen to me. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying something? It's funny because like, we both have the same train of thought there, right? Look at enough internet. There's a rule for that. Right, what is it? Rule 42? 342? 3 something? Hey! Non. No pattern. No. Hold on, I need to gloat a little longer. There was no plan. It wasn't, uh... Did you say clan or cl clam? There was no plan. Oh, I thought you said clam. I was like, no. why are you talking about clams? No plan, no rhyme or reason. No... Oh, your hand is sweaty. Thank you. Ugh. Nothing organized about it. Now if I can find my way out of here with no time limit. I think I had some of the right numbers. Oh wait, now you have to do this with rocks? Oh, I said to leave. Oh, what, what are the 49 rocks that you have? It's eggs that I can shoot, but I needed to do that without shooting because I just got a melee attack. Okay, just gotta find one more of those. It only took us 30 minutes to find one jigsaw. I guess we found the location of the jigsaw pretty quickly, but then the minigame was really hard for me. Nothing systematic about it. Just go in random rooms until one time you happen to find them all in the time limit. Oh. That guy was just saying hi. You think so? Yeehaw is not a threatening thing. Now, if he'd been like, I don't know, we don't take kindly to your kind around here. He, like, That's threatening. He gets up and like barrels at you immediately. He's just trying to give you a hug. And you fucking kill him. Asshole. Is that how people hug each other? Aggressively invading the You know, person? southern people are really friendly. <laughs> you have a pretty peak. I'm trapped in this mine by that blocked tunnel. Bleep. It's probably a robot. Uh, do I need a different ability to light this thing? I feel like that makes the most sense. 
detonator transformation? Okay. Have I gotten that in this level before? I think I have. Was it, uh... The TP over here? So she's the, our audience for this game is boy's character. So you... Why? Oh, her. I was like, she's a bird. I don't know what. That's not so bad. Now I am a detonator plunger. No, uh, Rare was pretty self-aware about that. It's, there's a lot of self-aware comedy about that in Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. About what? Okay, let's go activate this. Oh, I'm gonna go to Taco Bell. It's very special. Not something you do every week. Also, I'm not gonna help make dinner. Dylan's gonna make dinner. There we go. You're welcome. When does the plunder explode? You're asking too many questions. It's really dark on my screen, like extremely dark. I think it was last time too. I don't think that that's a... I don't know if there's a system settings option for... I can turn it up to stream but it'll still be dark for me. I don't know if that's like a... a rare replay thing. Yeah, I added a gamma increase filter to the capture card. I still can't see shit. See, those are evil shovels. Okay, and then to, just, to change my form, I gotta go back to Humba and switch back, right? Uh, detonator sermo? dark on our monitor, right? Yeah, I mean, I can see mine. So they did some kind of pass on it to make the, the blacks, like, true black. For me, no food can be taken off the premises. Huh. Do you have food on you? 
Uh, it's if you're in the middle of the level, you can't leave through this door and take the food into that stage. Do I have the ability to open this door now? If I go back to the amusement park level? Yeah, that's what I meant. I needed to actually go through it to see what was on the other side, though. I didn't know where it was connecting to from that passageway. Yeah. Once I exit the stage, I assume it'll save my progress. I'm just worried if I pull up like a Xbox One settings menu that it's gonna um, not save the game, you know? I don't trust Xbox One suspension at all. We'll try to get in the stage and see if it works. Let's see. Oops. Ew, why did it burp? Did you eat something? It's just the menu sound, I think. Yeah. It's not an in-game setting. Let's see if this makes any difference. I think it's the color depth. It's definitely not a 4K TV, it is a monitor. Okay, those are my only options. I feel like that is even darker, and then like Banjo's kind of washed out. So let me put it back to what it was. I'll just try to correct it so you guys see it via post processing gamma adjustments in the capture card. You wouldn't mind reminding me when we play it, because I'll have to turn it off for other games so they don't look all super washed out. I'll make it a little bit more aggressive here. But that's like literally what it looks like on my screen. It's all super dark. Like your soul? Exactly. Pitch black. You're like, remember the little girl in airplanes? Like, I prefer my men like my coffee. Black. Do you remember that? It's funny! I do, it is funny. It's a good movie. It's like, man, I picked the wrong day to quit snorting glue. <laughs> I picked the wrong day to quit shooting up heroin. <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't doors. seen Airplane, you should see Airplane! Exclamation point. But not the sequel, because it's not by the same folks. See Top Secret, though, it's by the same makers. Surely you must be joking. I'm not. It's not calling me Shirley. Surely you can't be serious. Come on, Andrew. When's the last time you saw this one? Sorry. <laughs> I don't like coffee. <laughs> it had to have been back here somewhere, right? Because it looked like these doors. Or is it somewhere else in the stage? Was I able to open it the first time I visited here? Or uh, did I have to bust open that rock to be able to open it from this side? <laughs> or do you remember the nun that's like, oh, excuse me, Sturtis, I speak jive. It was a nun, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's like a... 
a airplane crash disaster movie, right? I haven't seen the movie it's a parody of. Oh, it's an older lady? Oh, it would have been better if it was a nun. No, it was, it was uh, the, the um, mom from the Brady Bunch. The actress uh, just made it extra funny. Whatever, I'm going to remember it as a nun because it's funnier that way. I don't know why it's funnier, it just is. I have to get to this section Maybe. from someone Is that else. Winnie the Pooh? No, it's a Jinjo. It's an evil Jinjo. I don't know, it kind of looks like the president of China. And now your stream is banned in China! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Adrian. I love you. I think she sets out to... I'm sorry. Just get my face to contort as much as possible. Ninja or the evil Jinjos. Okay, so I have to get to this area from another part of the park. But I, it's somewhere else in the amusement park that I have to get to it from. Oh, it's it not like you have another Chinese? zone entirely. Is Ludifex half Chinese? You met him. Right on! <laughs> what? There's a cable car that goes across, thank you. I didn't do anything wrong, I asked! <sighs> oh, it's not crazy obvious? Okay, fine. You're off the hook. It's, she's doing it on purpose. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, half of you can't watch the stream, so you have to get an eye patch <laughs> and, you know, an earplug. Just one. One earplug and an eye patch. Then you're good to go. How do I get to the cable car? I am on Jid! How did you know? I'm mixing it so they make these little this things called, called like ice, right um, which are like zero calorie kind of soda things. So I've been mixing it with the lemon lime. Let's get the eye patch ice. for your own reasons. That's fair. I support that. Eye patches are sweet. I think I've been to the cable car before from like the top of like a mass thing. Whenever Dylan talks thing, about like saving money, he's like, whenever you take money out of your savings, you are taking money away from future Dylan. And future Dylan has an eye patch and a cane or a sword or some kind of weapon. And he's fucking pissed that you took his money. You're borrowing money from the future. At least the future you lives in the post apocalyptic world. <laughs> yeah, see, Dylan, I get extra lovable. <laughs> Dylan. I'll be right back. I have to freshen my right, see ya. drink. I'm gonna use ice again. I'm gonna get ice. <laughs> I feel like I must have come through this way last time, though, right? Let me see if there's somewhere I can get it. Okay, I don't think I can do that. I don't think that's intended. It's a good question, Game Saucer. Who was Where's the Did the material of the cable car change halfway through? What, like it became diaphanous? Right. Just during the cutscene, it looks like it Not changed. Corporeal. Which one is it? Incorporeal. 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 Corporeal means that it has a body. Corpus. Corpse. Ah. One of his favorite things is to ask people what sarcophagus means. Sarcophagus. Is it a favorite thing? Yes, you love doing that. You've told me that so many times. It means skin eater. I think it's because you forget. <laughs> you often don't remember that I told you something. So it's like getting to tell someone a fact <laughs> for the first time. 
Saucer Apparel is so close to a power shortage. Slash, if you haven't seen the trolley problem go episode of The Good Place, do it. I'm not going to spoil it. He thinks I'm going to spoil it. That's the fucking name of the episode. Yeah, just don't talk That's about it. That's the name of the episode. Watch that episode. Don't talk about it. I'm not telling you why. Well, you no, should you should it. watch it because it's fucking funny. We're only like up to there, so no other spoilers for us. <laughs> but that's a great episode. First time I've been able to go between worlds without going to the overworld. Right, but I still have to restore power for that to have done anything, right? So I've done three tasks oh. that would be helpful for probably for getting a jigsaw soon. But each of those tasks on their own has not accomplished anything. And I can't get into the saucer of peril yet because I don't have the money truck upgrade. Oh, what's the, um, isn't there a book, maybe a Bill Bryson book, about lexicon stuff? Did my mom get it for you? No? Uh, probably. Anyway, I'm sure there's many lexiconical books. Etymology books. Oh yeah, one of the characters is an ethics professor. That's not a spoiler. They tell you that in the first episode. I don't think I found um, Mumbo or Humbo yet. Lexicomical. <laughs> yes, Marty. There is one of these little platforms on. Uh, on top of the thing, maybe it was just a way to get back onto the thing you could grab onto. It didn't do anything by itself. Yeah, he likes a good place better than I do, but the trolley problem episode, that had me laughing a lot. It has my humor. I'm a big fan of stuff like the Big Lebowski. It's mostly word humor. I like that it's campy. I like camp. It's campy, oh, right? Would you call it campy? One. Okay, I'll try to get back to it. Would you, would you call it campy? I think it's campy, yeah. Okay. I like campy. Someone's chewing on their cuticles. Good question, Dylan. Are cuticles flesh? Or do they, like, scrape at their heel like you do? Dylan likes to peel the dead skin off his heel. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's not embarrassing! It's not, but it's like, people don't want to know that. <laughs> this, I'm just helping them get to know you better. Yeah. Increase, you know, the intimacy. Isn't that a big part of your have, stream? Like, I need to have, like, a foot pedal for mute. Put <laughs> Andreas on stream. Alright, let me try triggering this thing. Oh shit, I think I'm already... I think I already fucked it up. Okay, I'm trying again. Oh, I can climb back up to this. Uh, what changes what it- I mean, besides the obvious, like... What changes- wait, what trolley are we talking about? Are we talking about a trolley in the game? <laughs> or the trolley problem trolley? We're talking about the platform that moves, Game Saucer was asking. Yeah, right, loot effects. Okay, so you think this is a switch that enables a jump, which is probably just a shortcut to get back up here? So you don't have to take the- okay. I see. Oh, see, there you go. Yahan understands. You're not alone. <laughs> Music down in there. Okay, I'm looking for Mumbo. I'm gonna get a get talking to after well. stream. I guarantee it. I'm gonna get a talking to. I'm gonna get a talking to. You're very funny. I think people find the dynamic amusing. Right. See, so say, I like to peel the dead skin off my lips. There, now we're on equal ground. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't remember if that was a fake Jinjo or not. Hold on. Wait, you murdered something? What did you murder? It was one of the creatures that you were probably mad at me earlier. Oh, there's Humba Wumba. What, the Yeehaw guys? I haven't been up there yet. Let's try that. Oh, shit. <laughs> now 
I had to climb all the way back up. Let's see if I can get to it. I don't know if I can. Oh, look! It's Winnie the Pooh! Do I need another ability to be able to reach the Jinjo from there? Or do I have to, like, delay when I use the hover ability? Dude, I hear you, Kai Mom. I have to censor myself. <laughs> <laughs> is that so? Oh, really? Yeah, real bad. Well, it could be worse, is what you're saying. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That was a genuine laugh out loud. <laughs> this might be far enough that I can make it. Hey! Number two. That's value. Okay, let's see if we can get to Humba now. What? I do love you. I didn't say anything! Oh, He's got a big Poor hammer. Brad. Yeah, but he wasn't like, you know, it's because he's the guard. Whoops. Oh, now you're dead. I didn't jump first. I did the classic double jump. Well, there's two classic double jump blunders. One is to jump and then activate the double jump immediately in the air by accident. That means that the developers didn't, like, force you to wait a few frames until you're allowed to double jump. The other one is to fall off the ledge and then double jump impotently as you fall rather than jump. I mean, isn't that just single jumping? Alright, we got a warp to Humba Wumbo. What is she going to turn me into? <laughs> hey, you made it this time! First try. Only took you... How many tries? Ooh, Globo. You have to Humba? It's interesting that they even require the Globo. Are there levels where the Globo's in a completely different place? Jump in, then. They're gonna turn me into a truck? It is! An armored car. What do we call this van? Probably he still has the pants. The farthest the global ever is is like just across from it now. That was a nice little shortcut. Alright, well, we know where to take this. Let's try to make some progress this episode. I think I have some really good hydraulics. Episode, or a new uh, level for next episode. Beep. What are the music notes? Uh, you need to collect them. They're just a collectible. They're like stars. Yeah, but you need to get a, all of them to do stuff in the game, so... Oh. Looks like the right height for this thing. Ooh, talk to strangers. I don't know if I'd ever I call a truck a stranger. Strange, yes. Creepy, unwanted. Whoa. And this, this is a little bit different of a universe because uh, everything is sapient. Everything has eyeballs. Oh, can I see the front of the truck? Oh, it does have eyeballs! That's an olive! It's got a little pants yeah, with a it, belt! Oh, it's adorable! Oh, that's the cutest thing ever. It's like SpongeBob SquarePants, but a van. SpongeBob oh, Van Pants. So can or Van Van Bob. Square pants. I probably need Mumbo to be able to turn the power on these places. Dude, I got one, once got my rental car to go out to the NNSS. You can look it up. And the Nevada National Security Site used to be called the Nevada Test Site, where they used to blow up lots of nukes. They don't do that anymore. Uh, anyway, 
So I go to my rental car place to fly into Vegas, and the only option they have is a white man. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to take this nondescript white man into, you know, classified area. Hmm. No big deal. I thought it was funny. SpongeBob Brinks truck. I dig it. I feel like there's at least one more truck door that was somewhere interesting. Oh, I can kill enemies by jumping on them. Aww. Who's Randall Morrow? XKCD. Oh, didn't he give a TED talk and he's like super awkward? That's your first thing that you think of when you think of poor Randall Monroe? No, I mean that in a good way. Because I'm awkward. We're all awkward. It's it's nice to see someone give a TED talk that's awkward. Uh, sure, come on. Actually, the um, British guy I was talking to who was like, oh, I'm going to actually use your data now. Uh, he would not look me in the eye. He just stared to the side the whole time. It was really I awkward. I don't look people in the eye. I can't. Like, it, it causes no, me No, but pain. he was literally, right, like, we're looking in the eye. He was literally looking no. like this, like... I do a fake thing where I kind of look like, Hey, Dylan, how's it going? To you. It was weird. I'm really bad about but that. It's fine. I wish he I just, wasn't. He doesn't want to... Oh, because I got all the coins and it's totally a bridge track. That makes sense. It's not the first physicist I've met that won't look me in the eye. Thanks, Grunty. Spooky. Spooky scary. What's that from? Is that from Mormon? Uh, that is from 30 Rock. Werewolf Bar Mitzvah. Oh, yeah. Boys becoming so men. Men becoming so wolves. Don't kill the bear. Well, it's a little kid. I'm trying to bring the kids back to their mom. Hey, it's Cheeto Page. Five pages at last. Come and see me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. Tell you your first secret cheat. Are the cheats progression upgrades in this game, or are they convenience things like uh, increased shot capacity? Convenience? Okay. I wish I could dismiss these forms without uh, Truck can survive being in lava, that's cool. That's an armored truck. Nicely done. Oops. Now, will he not respond to me if I'm not in my normal banjo form? Seems like it. So I don't have a little pickup for him yet. Mirrors kind of look like arms. Okay, so I Those dumpy T Rex arms. I don't think I need the truck for now, so I'm gonna try to go swap out before we wrap today. And I'll leave myself, my future self, some notes. I need to finish getting to Mumbo because that should let me turn the power back on. If I turn the power back on, that should get me to a jigsaw, and then I can go to the new stage. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, Yahan. Cheers. I do a fake out thing where I look at, like just past somebody. Usually they can't tell. Well, they can. They can always tell. They can they tell. Just never tell me. Yep, they can absolutely tell. 
Thanks. It helps with my anxiety. You're welcome. Oh, you know, they always know. Everyone knows how false you are. All the time. I guess that's true. If, they, if you find someone like you and you just both don't look in each other's eyes, that's a dream, it's isn't an it? Absolute dream. Alright, so I don't. I think whenever you well, save you in this like game, this it always takes show. you back to the main map. Okay. Future Marstead, here's the deal. Uh, always, wa always, always, always watch the end of every Banjo 2 Yvonne. And always leave a message to your future self. You're trying to get to that door. Unhappy. Uh, there are several things going on here. Whenever you load this game, it's going to put you in the hub area. You need to find the little rocket warp thing that looks like this. A little metal thing with a flashing green light. You want to take it... This time you want to take it to the amusement park world. The witch's There's world. stuff you want to do in the amusement park world that's in the inferno area. Uh, it, one of the main things you want to do is you want to unlock Mumbo. Mumbo will let you restore power to the other half of the park the metal-looking half of the park, which will turn on the UFO. If you turn on the UFO, that should let you get to a jigsaw. If you get a jigsaw, that should let you go to the new area, which is the last warp in the game on the cliff. It's the Jolly Roger Bay zone. But you need a to one more jigsaw to be able to access it. And I'll be very dependent on chat for direct tips on where to go and what to do. Because uh, I think I would struggle with this game even if we were playing it in like a 24-hour marathon. Really easy for me to get lost in it. Thanks, Kaima! Cool. Thanks, folks, for watching. I'll let you guys know what's coming up. Oh, yeah. Alright, if you're watching on YouTube, there was just a jump cut. Uh, I'm trying to reduce the number of one-hour-ish VODs that I load to YouTube, so I'm just going to cut this together with the next session. I do have my notes that I just left to myself, so you probably saw me leaving myself those notes. We gotta go back to the amusement park area, go to the inferno area, unlock Mumbo, restore the power, get the jiggy, jigsaw, and then go to Jolly Roger Bay on the cliff. Um, Banjo Tui, a lot of exploration, multi step quests. It's less, it's close, it has more in common with a Metroidvania, although it's still not that. Uh, just in the sense that it's like, you can't go to a world and completely finish a world without leaving and going to future worlds and getting new abilities to bring back with you, you know? So I dig it so far. It's definitely a bigger game than the original Banjo-Kazooie, and it's interesting to see what kind of ideas they came up with for the sequel. Um, I think just my format of streaming it instead of just like marathoning it for 20 hours makes it a lot harder for me to keep track of what's going on and what I have and haven't done and which areas I have and haven't visited. Which is a general issue that I have with some Metroidvanias, but that's usually a function of like how much the game helps you with tracking what you have and haven't done. And as this game came out in 2001, it doesn't have much of that. <laughs> you kind of just have to remember, I was already in that zone, I already went down that pathway, I already got that jiggy and so on. So I'll be extra dependent on chat. We can relax the backseating policy if you guys see me going in a direction I've already been to or doing something that's completely fruitless. Feel free to just pop it in and tell me. So just recently opened this area up. Haven't been in there at all yet. Same game, but bigger, which can be good and bad. I feel like if you took this exact same game and just added some modern quality of life features like uh, a map and tracking, marking whether areas are complete or not, that sort of a thing. Um, it would be way better than Banjo Kazooie. Now, I didn't play ukulele, but I wonder if ukulele had stuff like that or it was lacking in that respect. So I thought I unlocked this ability. Okay, never mind. B button. That's how I do it. Um, when I split them like this, isn't there a way for me to control them separately, though? I didn't hear ukulele was bad, I just heard it was Banjo-Kazooie again without any of the lessons learned in the last, you know, 20 years of game development. Try pressing buttons until I switch here. There it is.
the per level tracking is really broad. And... Ow. I forgot I'd unlock these already, thanks, Donovan. It makes it easier for me to jump over them, too, maybe? Ow. Don't die now. Ah, shit. I like that it splits their health between the two of them. It's smart. Right, he doesn't have the hover ability. Not to do what? Die? Alright, we got that backpack swing. See, this thing is 3D. Okay, no, I can't dodge it around the side of it there. Thought maybe I could. Camera is what makes this hard to do without getting hit. I can do it towards the bottom, but then I have to start managing the camera with my right thumb. Try it again. Right. Attack button. Thank you. I could just trust the camera, but who would do that? Just leave my finger off the right stick, maybe? You can jump out of the backpack swing. Let's just slow down. I don't need to go fast, right? It's not like this is a time limit thing. This is... now we can go to a new area. I'm gonna do that really quick. I wanna get more progression abilities. I wanna avoid over-exploring early zones. Um, because I wanna do it like how we tend to stream Metroidvanias now, which is try to get all the progression upgrades and then go back and get everything. You don't wanna just get the double jump and then go back to every single zone you've ever been to just with the double jump and see another bunch of locked doors that you can't get past. Mumbo's in here too, but I don't need to do it right now. Does anyone know how saving works in this? Does the game auto-save every time you get a jigsaw, or, or like, is it any time you do any puzzle solution? I was nervous about that last time. Right. Know where everything is in each level. Remember where you have and haven't been yet. I was definitely prepared. <laughs> You're, you're kind to not point out how obvious it was I was reading from a document. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're kind to say so. I think it went pretty well. I don't think it was unreasonable to prepare answers. I did that with my PAX panel, too. I had more time to practice with the PAX panel with, like, memorizing most of it and not having to obviously be looking at my notes the whole time. Uh, because the questions weren't finalized for TwitchCon until, like, right before we went out there. Yeah. As long as your opinion of it was primarily positive, I won't let my mental illness make me feel too bad about the reading from notes thing. <laughs> Yeah, Firecrow is really cool, dude. I liked everybody on the panel. I got a chance to meet them. 
I guess Firecrow beta tested crosscode. It was in the credits. I need to ping him about that. Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. Presumably I've got new shit to do in here. I'm gonna have to talk to him first. Approach the Golden Monolith. It's convenient of them. Thank you very much, Nodden. Appreciate that. You never have to rotate these pieces, right? I don't think that you can. Oops. Good on them for actually having jigsaw puzzles. I do like the whole, you can see the full animated scene while you're placing them thing, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge for... Jiggy Wiggy. later when you have... Oh, I didn't say how many. Okay. 20 is the next one. I will keep it in mind. What's the maximum number of Jiggies that can uh, be in any level? Is it the same number in every stage? Like stars in Mario 64? 10. Okay. Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Such a rare sign. Like, rare, rare sign. Ginger beer. That's what they drink. And then pirates. Thought I had one of those. It is very, there are a lot of abilities in this game and in Banjo Kazooie. And like, it seems like almost all of them, or all of them, are used in progression in one way or another. So if I'm obviously forgetting one, please just go ahead and let me know. Today's specials Salty Dumplings, Toad in the Hole, Seaman Surprise. Something about mines in a gutter, but knowing rare. Halid effects. Jolly Roger, town mayor and proprietor of this lovely inn. Get ginger beer, please. Less than jolly at the moment. <laughs> Kazooie doesn't care. Kazooie is not a good guy. She is kind of a villain. Wave race earlier this evening. Got outside, she was gone. She was eaten by a vicious sea demon. That's why he's worried about her. It's happy hour soon. Two doubloons. Shh. 
I know. Let me get some of these mad ducats over here. I keep talking about it only because I've been playing it a lot lately, but like the RuneScape protagonist has a very similar personality to Kazooie. Very focused on rewards and quests and getting NPCs to shut up and get to the point. Your typical, like, chaotic, neutral D&D &D rogue. I'm not used to it in MMOs. Most MMO protagonists I'm familiar with are either, like, completely silent, where the player picks lines occasionally. I'm pretty sure that's how World of Warcraft handles it. Um, or they're, like, super-duper goody-two-shoes. Yes, there, you scurvy dogs. I be Captain Black Eye, fearless pirate and scourge of the seas. He's actually like completely a human. He's a little wobbly. Oh, he's seasick. Okay, I see. Seasick on ginger beer. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Shiver me timbers. Yeah, there was some good dialogue options in Breath of the Wild, I remember that. One of my favorite ones is the one where you can just keep yelling at the, the old man in the plateau that you want to get the, um, the paraglider from him. Paraglider, please. Paraglider, please. <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed in here until I get those doubloons. I'll go outside and look around. But the way the quests are oriented in RuneScape, like, it kind of has the opposite of catch-up mechanics. They've sort of designed the game to never allow anyone to get anything faster than it took people to get them, you know, 10 years ago. Uh, so as a result, they can be 100% certain that if you're doing quest number 50, you did quest number 1 through 49, because they were prerequisites for the 50th one. And there's a lot of fun inside jokes they can do with that. Final Fantasy XIV can do that too by forcing everyone to play through the main story. Um, appreciating the value of that more and more, the more distant it is for me actually having to do it at the same time as some friends. Do I have the ability to open these cracked doors yet? So these little pink guys sometimes are in the same room as Mumbo or, or Humbo Wumbo, but they're almost never very far away, right? I really do implore you to give it another try. Not even the beginning of the game is bad, but there are reasons why it's bad. The most recent expansion is very, very, very good. It still has a extremely high score on Metacritic. I do have the ability to break open that crack. All right, I'll go back to it real quick. What, do you know what the command is? I thought it was like the one where I make uh, Kazooie dash. But... Oh, grenade eggs. Okay, thank you. I thought it was up here. There it is. <laughs> They're like bombs in Zelda? Okay. Will they, do they work? Let me see if I can phrase this question right. So there are sometimes things that you can solve with just like a sword swing or by standing on it, but bombs will also work. Will grenades sometimes work on things that 
You can technically also use uh, weaker abilities for, like punching or slamming. Or I was wondering if everything in Banjo Tooie is one to one. It's like, okay, no, grenade eggs pair to this thing only, and that's the only way you can get through that objective. What to do? It's my baby. 32 weeks late. Can you help? Can't you just sit on it and hatch it? Reptile, not a bird. He's supposed to get out himself. Seems like a bad idea. Also, it doesn't seem to work. What are you doing? There's no way to open the egg. You'll blow my little one to pieces. All right, they have dialogue for it. This drill move. Grenade egg. I think it would make a little noise if that was doing anything to, like, warm the egg. I'm guessing I cannot open that egg yet. Can't get in there yet. Not yet. Okay, thanks. I've got the doubloons to get in the room now, so I'll go try to do that. Remember that there's a room in Mumbo's room that we blew up in. I have to talk to him to open it. Yo! Oops. Would you like to rent a room? Half price of two doubloons. Show me the money, big boy. How can you possibly sleep when my partner's still missing? I think Banji will be able to sleep through the powerful force of not giving a fuck. Yo! And in the water, baddies attack. This new move will let you shoot back. Just why for the aiming sight, followed by left trigger or right trigger. They must have fit a ton of abilities in this game. I still have two doubloons. I feel like they probably could have gotten rid of- they could have gotten away with a drunk pirate. If this game had been released today, but I know that Nintendo was especially aggressive back then. Yeah. Now you can do a thing you could already do, except underwater. I guess there's probably new animation cycles for it to work. There's one of those little guys. Access Mumbo. It's impressive, too, given that they start you with all the abilities from the first game. Yo. You look sad. What's wrong? Greetings, friend. My name's Plano, local pawnbroker. Shouldn't the jiggy in the case. Circa Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> 20 gold doubloons. I only want the Jiggy, not your whole shop. Good god. Hmm. 
Should be able to unlock Mumbo now. I don't know what I'm going to use him for, but... I have him ready to go. We got a Globo. So in each stage, does Mumbo have exactly one um, Mumbo tile that he can stand on? Or is it sometimes more than one thing he can do? There can be multiple. Okay. And I'm trying to like, it seems like there's a lot of travel time going back and forth between transformations and playing as a mumbo. So I want to try to maximize that, optimize that. Two were in which you were old. Okay. And generally, I probably shouldn't be swapping to Mumbo until I know where to take him. He's like Banjo and Kazooie, he can just only do one thing instead of do a bunch of things. Oh, there's his thing. That's not so bad. Glad it's not behind something else. So I appreciate what they were doing in this game in reducing the number of music notes, because it was super frustrating to miss one in the previous game and have to try to track it down. But on the same token, I think having like five times as many notes really helped with not getting lost. Thanks, Eternus. Appreciate that. It's going really well. How's it been? Sunlight oxygenated water. Blue shine big light on water. It now has plenty of oxygen. Bear and bird not need to hold breath. Well, that's convenient. Power of science. Yo. Whoops. Not there yet. Let's see if I can tell which one is which. Hold up. There's a skull to the left of the one that I don't want. Do they look that different? Activate that. Check next time. Nice. Gross. Waste disposal plans. I think when you have five times the number of notes and you go to an area that has notes in it, like you know, okay, I've never been here before. But then I guess there's enough backtracking to places you have been, it's not that helpful. So many fake Jinjos. Technically part of a different level. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what game did that? Thanks, giant teddy bear. Now our water is crystal clear. Oh, sure. Yeah. 
Oh, Crash Bandicoot 2, I think. And maybe 3. I watched Andrew play through these recently. I had played them a long time ago as a kid. But yeah, it would do something similar where there'd be like a gem in a level. The only way you could get that gem was to warp there from a completely different zone. And it was basically impossible to tell. I think the, the remaster that came out recently uh, added some text that was like, you can't, you need to go to this level to find a secret passage to get to this. Ooh, looks much cleaner now, thanks. Temperature problem to sort out. Oh, I guess if I had talked to them sooner, they would have been like, the water's too hot. And they're like mutated by the toxic waste. There's a Rayman game that did that too. Wave Racer, also a fairly popular 64 game. Who, who developed Wave Racer? Was it a uh, Nintendo? Was it a first party game? She has a goldfish hold the secret to fast swimming. There's like a Daniel Tosh bit where he's like, it's impossible to frown on a wave runner. Hoy there, be your old shipmate, Captain Blubber. How you going, me hearties? Bit of a hard day. Nintendo, it wasn't like a third party dev. Nothing to bring back wave race. All new wave racers are shipwrecked. That's a bummer. So the last person for just one doubloon. I got enough for that. Watch it be a shitty possession. Look how happy he is. A hey, quiz night. A thousand doubloons up for the grabs. <laughs> Pro loot crate. Alright. I don't actually know why I want that. That just lets me run faster, right? So is it transition between zones is a question. It does. We run on water, that's not insignificant. Presumably that's the only way to get that. I am grateful for your help. Thought I'd never find my way home. Take this jiggy for your trouble. Sweet. N64 era underwater levels. Really just underwater levels in general, but I feel like they kind of get a bad rap. It's possible to do an underwater level that doesn't suck. Made you go to the ginger houses, yeah. Probably not great, but less tempted to buy it. Reviews are still embargoed? Really? It's high praise.
Can I open that yet? I assume I'm going to use this egg thing down here. Okay, thanks. Wow, you are huge and given very quickly. But then you get back up. That's that's the rub of it. Okay. Oh wow, eighty-seven in Outer Worlds. That's pretty high for Obsidian. Well, cool. That much more excited to play it. Eighty seven is extremely good. Right, I'm actually curious what Fallout New Vegas got. Based on its reputation, I would expect that it's like somewhere between 78 and 85. Eighty-four. Okay. Uh, it, I know it sounds really silly, but they're orienting this entire stream around it. There's a difference between an 84 and an 87. There's not from any one reviewer, but when you have an aggregator and it's a popular like AAA game that every outfit is reviewing, you can kind of feel the difference. Because of it, infamously, it didn't get city in a bonus for 85 plus. Oh, that sucks. This thing, so I'm not scared. But Kid Me would have been terrified of this. Reminds me of, um... Echo the Dolphin. Oh, that's clever. Hooray for just trying everything. Oh shit, he unfreezes! That's bad. Good to know. Whoa, Atlantis, no shit. Who needs hit points? I should have guessed that it was temporary. Oh, thank God, there's a warp pad here. I don't want to have to go back through that ever again. It was a harrowing experience. for asking. What's up, dude? Talon Torpedo. No six to steer. An A for speed. X to cancel if it's Banjo you need. That probably opens up the thing that I couldn't get into before. Yeah. I've never heard of Cameo. Probably confusing it with uh, some Sega Saturn game. Something Knights. Three sixty launch title from Rare. Oh, I see. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> That's pretty great. Nice. Turn back in the Spiral Mountain for it. Spiral Mountain, like the very beginning of the like outside Banjo's house. Okay. Was it something I was able to do before, or just now that I've got progression abilities? There's a Cheeto page up there. How do I get it? Now I can. They wouldn't make me use fire to boost up there, would there? It does give you height. Let's see if I can see another way to get there. Uh, I do not use that fire to boost up to that Cheeto page, right? It seems like too complicated of tech. Okay, thank you. Are you a min? You are. I think there are more of you than there are gingos. Rude. I have one of the ways to get to it. I feel like they use Jinjos a little bit more sparingly in this one. Why would I want to split Banjo and Kazooie here? Jinjos don't mind. So, right now, from a progression perspective, the only reason I would want to split Banjo and Kazooie is if there's like a switch I have to stand on. Like, neither of them have abilities alone that they don't approximately have together, right? Is that like a gap that only Kazooie can cross or a door that only Banjo can open? Regular eggs work too. Looks like Kazooie might have more distance when he's not carrying Banjo. Alright, well, I'll accept a tip on this one. What ability do I need to use to get up there? It's probable that I just forgot about it. Banjo's backpack swing, really? Because it gives me the extra jump. And I can't get that from just normally jumping with uh, the two of them and doing the bounce in there. I guess it gets me extra vertical height, huh? Okay. So we'll probably grab on the ledge. Nice, thank you. 
I'll have to keep in mind that it lets me get much higher. I thought it would just let me get more horizontal distance so I could approximate what you have when you have them together. Go. Does Kazooie have anything special that only she can do alone? Ow. She does later. God, it's helicopter controls. No, it's not helicopter controls. Okay. Whichever one it is, I don't know which one. It's not the one I think it is. That optional pickup that you mentioned, Kai Mom, is that something that I should be getting now? You mentioned the goldfish. Cannot get the camera help the most now. Okay. Ow. Three ways to get that? That's crazy. Is one of them like clearly intended? I forgot where I actually got into this level from. Through here, maybe? I just mean helicopter controls to mean you push down to pull up. Time to acknowledge a double jump of banjo. I see. So I can get back to the starting area from here, right? I just don't remember which door it's through. If anyone knows generally which way to go, I'll take a tip on it. Oh, we found it. The long search is over. So, where is it in Spiral Mountain? Now, where's Cheeto? He's old Nice. And where's the secret optional thing that we came back for? Knocked off the barbecue and ended up under this rather windy weather. Oh, this is my. The goldfish is in the house in the first game? That's much better. Wouldn't she be in the water where it's safer? Trap and dive and come back to the moat. 
supposed to be wanting a carry then. We goldfish are a little disadvantaged in the leg department. Extra bubbles may be of some use. I want at least a jiggy for that. Teach you how to swim faster. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I can see why you pointed that out. Thanks. Also, yeah, the extra oxygen is a big deal. Thank you. Cheetos and Grunties all there. Which I think I access via the top of Spiral Mountain. To actually climb the bridge. On both sides, presumably. A miracle I fit in there. 100% calculated. What's up, Chino? Got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. Spill the beans. Feathers. Maya Hem Temple Code Chamber Letters. Mayahem Temple? It's not the Jiggy one, right? Okay, thanks. I'm gonna be really bad with level names in a game like this where it doesn't display it. There's not like a central map for me to look at. I don't know if I could tell you the names of any of the levels in like Super Mario World. Other than Soda Lake, which I always got stuck on. Mario 64 sticks a little bit better with Bob on Battlefield. The underwater level is Jolly Roger something. Jolly, jolly, deep, dry, deep docks. Some combination of words like that. There's so many of these like 3D platformers that have naming structures like that. I guess that makes it extra complicated because your teleporter goes to the area directly outside of the level, not to the level itself, right? Jolly Jolly Deep Docks. Dry Deep. Wet Wex. I think I probably found these letters a while ago. I just don't remember where they are. Are they somewhere down in this area, though? I didn't. Oh, hey. Long search is over. Because I wasn't using grenade eggs to blow stuff up yet. Spell out the cheat code I've given you. Wrong there, you have to start again. 
So I wonder if they're gonna give me crap for just trying things, right? Didn't have grenade tags the first time you come here. I thought it was feathers. Oh, I can hit the same letter more than once. They shouldn't have given that to me, but I'll take it. Feather shield, double the maximum number of red and gold feathers you can carry. Sweet. It's not how you spell one of my cheats. Really? Yeah, the cheats are in game. What was the thing in the first one, too? Like, they're actual in game upgrades. Don't work until you hand over the pages. Ah, okay. Is that true in the first game, also? Use this menu to view or change a number of status of cheats. Okay, you can turn the monitor off. Gotcha. Drippy Dippy Lagoon. Thought okay. oh, maybe there would be a shenanigan there. It's worth trying. Let's go back to the underwater area. Aiming on this is super uh, sensitive. Okay. Well, I can still swim in the first person, that's good to know. Perhaps no. Okay. Well, uh, things that can be opened by torpedo kazooie always be indicated by a kazooie symbol. Open some eggs into these things real quick. Oh, 
One, two, three. Really? Okay. Oh, are there numbers on the little pots? No, there's letters. Alpha, Omega. There's no Alpha. Pi, though. Okay, so I think it's Pi, Sigma. No, Pi, Sigma, Omega. Sigma again. I don't think it was Delta. Of course, I presume that there's somewhere in the level that tells you the order, right? moving if I can. Then it's delta, okay. Maybe pi again? I'm too committed now, sorry. Scream. There's an NPC right around the corner that tells you the order, just go talk to them. It's too late. Sigma again. Seriously? I thought I already tried Omega after that one, but I must have confused myself. Maybe it's Delta Delta. Hooray! Brute Force Heroes. There's a fucking sign is on the door. It's fine. It was on the door the whole time. I could have seen it from there. I didn't know it was an open though, so I thought maybe it would be an NPC way further on. I appreciate it. Me and Jack shorts. Not very pig-like, if you ask me. Crispy bacon. <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Bacon? On vacation. Trying to photograph those lovely paintings on the wall down there. Awful fish keep attacking me. I get a spear gun. I had no balloons left after this camera. Sure. Oh, British tourists. That cage would be pretty good protection.
Oh, wow, well, I guess there's one. Maybe I should sit above him. Please try harder next time. Yes. I'm sure that snorkel is going to help him underwater. Aiming is so pers it's so like sensitive. I think it was in the first game though too. Just a rare replay thing. Hooray for splash damage! I feel like I'm playing Team Fortress, shooting rockets at their feet. swim to get more because I can't control my underwater movement well enough. Or I'm not confident enough in my control of the underwater movement. Whew. I think that'll do it. You got a jigsaw for me? the shots I needed. Perhaps this thing I found earlier may interest you. It does, actually. I wonder what the most polished game in this genre is. Not necessarily the best one. I'd say Mario Odyssey, but I feel like Mario Odyssey is kind of like a new thing. Still not quite a collectathon. Restock as much as I can here. I think there's nothing else to do in here. But I'll double check really quick just in case. Alright, oh, I guess I was already at 25. I cannot get the uh, jigsaw that's inside the translucent fish, right? I can hold the button down instead of tapping it, great. Like picking up the tapping as an advantage? I don't know. You have Globo. Give to Humba, yes. See, what happens with the Globo? Jump in Wumba Pool. Nice. Makes perfect sense. Sonic ping attack. I'm just creative. That's, 
I really had fun with these things. Myself and my torpedoes. Far out, I can take this thing. It's like I'm done in here, regardless. Oh, yeah, I guess not. We're not doing anything in here yet. Remember Seaweed Sanctum. I don't even know why they did respawning in the first place. I'm not sure how I feel about it. This is the room I'd already been in. The double jump. Maybe we did discuss this in the first episode. It was because the first game didn't have respawn, so it was possible that you would get screwed and not be able to restock on health. They basically respawn like immediately. I'm good. Yeah, it's almost like killing them is just not worth it. It's a different octopus. Is confused by the radar, it sounds like. Presuming that means torpedo kazooie only, but not actual torpedoes. Okay. Come on. Oh my god. I don't think I can refresh the freeze effect. Let me let it wear off and then I'll go through.
There we go. Just don't know how to open the translucent fish. <laughs> One of these is going to be D. Jones. These are the names of staffers, right? Because Grant Kirkhope is the person that did the soundtrack. Fish. Good God. Let's take a look. I went full horror. Lord Wufak Fak. Self important anglerfish. Who dares intrude on Lord Wufak Fak while he sleeps in his appallingly cramped locker? Just brought some mail for you. You're gonna steal my jiggy. Drain my home, leaving me to flap pathetically around. Until I shriveled up and died. Something like that. Yeah, Kazooie doesn't lie. to go into first person view. Which usually I wouldn't prefer, but underwater. That doesn't work. Can I beat this thing with a uh, submarine banjo? I'm suspicious that it gives me eggs. You can. I guess maybe it's the radar power I said. So I'm not allowed to exit the room, they wouldn't let me come in here, it was unwinnable. Yeah, I wish you could dismiss the forms without going back to Humble Umba. a light thing that I have to like sneak up behind him where he's not lighting things up. Get him to open his eyes maybe. I've just been missing when I've been shooting him in the thing. I'm missing now for sure. Does it have collision? Does it register getting shot at? Don't think it does. Uh, does beating this boss involve using the radar power or just torpedoes? Torpedoes. I mean, I've tried shooting this thing, I've tried shooting him in the mouth, and the last guess is to try to like deflect his zap attack. Makes perfect sense.
Nope, it's not it. Zap move. Let me put other like. Oh, he's got a glowy thing on his side. Is it? Or she has a glowy thing on her side. Maybe that's the thing that merged with her. With Lord Fact Fact, so it must be a dude. I think that's how angular fish work, though. Hooray! That took long enough. Precious boils. This is the first time I've seen a boss in a video game that has a mouth that huge and a giant glowing weak point, and neither of those are the things you're supposed to attack. I can see this being harder with Kazooie's eggs. Explosion type. The other ones don't glow. It's the first one. I'm glad that one was even glowing in the first place. Man, it's so gory. Sympathy hitting a poor blind fish. I was surprised they went with like actual blood in an E rated kids game. Those eyes must be the weak point now. Originally, I said I thought they were going for. It's really obvious in the, uh... Not my eyes. This thing basically called it, like, you came in here to murder me, drain the water, and steal my jiggy. It's like, yeah, do you deserve that happen, happen to you just because you're ugly? Because he's like, yep, that's what we're doing. You got the gist of it. Are you serious? Well, why should he though? I'm just coming in here and murdering him. That was super mean. Poor guy. He seemed to have gone belly up. 100 years of, I guess he was a tyrant. That makes it okay. Extra dialogue if you shoot his corpse. I am dead and have no more jikis. He's firing. I used to be a hero. Didn't you know? Pro regime change. That. 
This is a really expansive level. Down here at last, eh? Try my little shooting challenge. Score 60 points. I might give you a prize. Sure. Destroy my mind to score ill-deserved points. Blue ones are worth three, green ones worth two. One point for this. faster through this for next time. Feeble score of 49 points will win you my prize. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Destroying rulers in exchange for their resources. Be shooting on swimming around. It makes more sense. I always have a fear when there's a mini game like this that like it's gonna track my high score and then only give me a reward for beating my high score. Played a couple games. I think Final Fantasy X was one of them. It was like you had to set a record in a race and then to get additional rewards you had to keep beating your record. So if you did really well the first time, it was super hard to get the remaining upgrades. What the hell did that thing spawn? Hey. Is there a reason to play again? Oh, it's way to just warp you out, okay. Other than the sheer joy of it. Let me go to the town center, right? Submarines don't work too well on land. Okay. That makes sense. I need two more jiggies. None of the stuff I've gotten here should work as progress in other zones. Right. I have to wait to refreeze it. Yeah, it's like, why would they even code it that way? If I'm that close to it, just let me work. <laughs> yeah, right. I didn't even think about that. Hey, Surf, how you doing? Okay, I went in there. I'm not meant to fit through here. 
Smuggler's Cavern. More Kazooie panels. So not to open these guys. Is the uh, radar ability used for progression at all? I'm getting nervous that it's going to matter. I thought there was a little cave load over here. All right, the octopus, because they won't respond to getting Torpedoed. <laughs> Can Banjo and Kazooie fit through this space? I couldn't tell if the submarine was any smaller than them. I assume it's not. See if I can find Humble Humble really quick to change back. I do kind of wish that, um, well, let me finish exploring out here as a submarine just in case. I do kind of wish there was a button to dismiss transformations or character swaps. Even the ability to swap to them freely once you unlock them, but. I would even take just dismiss and return to your normal form. Effectively the same size. Doesn't look like you need the submarine for anything up here. So can you all think of anything else I need the submarine for or can I detransform? Thanks. I think it was down this way. But this is what I mean when I say that even if we were playing this game without six month breaks in between them, like I would still get lost. And the minigame doesn't have additional rewards for attempting it again. crap, I remembered where it was, in an underwater area, no less. See if I can do a first person look and see if there's anything obviously up there where I get too excited about this. There's not, okay. Are most poles like that climbable in the game? I'm gonna forget that I have the power to climb.
So let's press X to submerge originally, okay. Initially. So I, I definitely cannot open these guys yet, right? I didn't try using this, I guess. Oh. Interesting. Oh boy. You all suck, you know that? Especially now that I have limited aim. God for first person view. Alright, one more and I unlock another level. I would like to get the head of things so that I'm at least a paycheck or so ahead. from the double check with Banjo and Kazooie. I want to check the other one first. there's a branching path here. So one of these I didn't take first time I came in here. Is this like a different kind of octopus or something? I just had to shoot ice eggs at them. Probably just damage boost through it. Okay. 
It's a big fish. Eyes are too big to be a bad guy, right? Something's inside this fish. It's a fish. But everything in this game is sapient, remember? Even furniture. They all make decisions. Seems mean, but okay. Can you destroy all your teeth on the off chance that you have some kind of treasure inside your mouth? Like you ate a ginger or something. See what we would do. She's the one shooting the eggs, huh? He's not even fighting back. You did a thing. Underwater dentist. Oh. There's a Tardis fish. Is there no cows sticking out of the walls? Okay. See what's down the other path. Something like it's coming from above me, but maybe it's just another. Slash employee. Only if the price is right. Mary and Maggie, partner to Jelly Roger. I don't want to blow those wave racers when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. You don't have to stay in here. Soon be happy hour at the end. Jelly will be needing some relief. Any chance of a jiggy? <laughs> the animation. I do like that they made all of the egg and uh, feather pickups work like that. They alternate between what they are. 
The next evolution of that is for, you know, you pick it up and it gives you whichever one you don't have, or have the least of, right? I think most of the time that's the same as them switching between it and you trying to time when you pick it up. Anything else to do down here? This looks new. This? Maybe it's just because I have an easier time finding my way around in here somehow. But this zone feels enormous compared to all the other levels up to this point. Maybe the other ones are just as big. Sub-areas of this one are the most visually distinct to me, even though I usually easily get lost in underwater levels. I guess the theme park's pretty different all around. I don't know why I struggle there. Yeah, I agree. Let's see why you dig it. be that because it's an underwater level, they're limited in the number of mechanics that they can gate. Like, you pretty much just need the underwater mechanics, and they probably didn't put too many of those in later levels that aren't as underwater. Oh, hey, Robin! What you doing in Japan? Alright, there's a couple more. There's something I can open as Kazooie. There's a couple of those. There's one that's further down that I couldn't get through because I was the submarine. Nice! You moving around in Japan? Man, I'm really glad that I happened to shoot this thing through the tentacles the first time or I would have given up. Inside the UFO. Greetings, feeble earthlings. Any of you called Elvis? Man, I haven't heard a reference to that in a long time. What a bit of a fix. Need to phone home? Now we have a cell phone for that. Drive unit on our ship. Has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice, so we don't have any. Of course. What are you guys doing harboring an evil ninja? Jeez. Kazooie. the other crystals quickly. Alright, 
Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. You have failed us, pathetic earthlings. Fix your own ship then. Do any of you have green guards? I wonder if I can shoot it without having to get close to it. I totally can. Thank you, Earthling, Bear, and Bird. We are late for dinner. I think we aliens. Land on a shiny thing. You may have that. Now go. Look how happy they are. Wait, where is the entrance? All right. How thoughtful of them to put a Kazooie door on the entrance of their ship. Strange glow lights on. All right, and now you're never getting it. Sweet, now I can get to a new stage where I'm gonna try to get ahead and get as many as I can here, since there's probably not power-ups you need when coming back. To get some more ice. I got super lucky. Everyone knows that um, Octopi are weak against elemental ice. No oh, shit. Part of the elemental triangle, right? Cartoon Texan aliens. Sounds pretty Texas. this room. Good to know that it's a restock place. Don't we just say help Texas? I forget. Maybe it's that. Uh, some language that uses Texas as, a, Texas as a verb to mean like to go crazy or do something over the top. And I have source amnesia on that. I don't remember where that was from, but Over the top are crazy. Ice fire grenade ice. This was one of the ones. I think there's one other one that I'm forgetting. I'm guessing that's really what it is, is just that since it's an underwater level, they can't add too many progression upgrades from later stages. So I feel more confident fully exploring it. Hey. 
Better go to mine. So these levels connect, and you might see that Jinjo and be like, how do I get up there? You don't. I don't know if I want to go back. I think I can. Is that the only thing that's special from there, is getting the Jinjo? Well, that's not going to end well. Sure you set some time aside Ravanon, even though it's not actively traveling, you just watch Japanese TV for a couple hours. I kinda had an idea of what to expect, and it was beyond my wildest imagination. I wish I had like recorded some of it, because it I just couldn't believe it. You're missing a ginger mark just from the vine. Yeah. Yikes. I would have almost certainly forgot about it, too. The thing that struck me about at least the, the channel we were watching was just that, like, and Andrea slept through it, so she doesn't completely believe me that it would, this happened. But, like, it would switch between programs seemingly at random intervals. I'm very used to in Western TV, it's like everything is either 30 minutes. Or an hour. Sometimes you can watch, you can like show a, t a movie, but even that still follows some basic rules. But sometimes you'd have like a show that would be on for like 10 minutes, and then it would cut to something that would be on for like an hour and 12 minutes. And there seemed to be no rhyme or reason to the subject matter. Like you'd watch one that was like some kind of crazy cooking challenge, and then you'd have characters that were being insulted for not being able to speak English well enough. Water pressure is too much, that's why you have to be a submarine. Okay. I think there's still a uh, Kazooie door that I can open that I got to as a submarine. I'll see if I can find it. I don't think there's anything else in the Davy Jones locker area. Like the individual shows I saw on Japanese TV were all kind of like, you know, what you would expect from a Westerner who's been exposed to some of them showing up on uh, YouTube or the like. We already did this. Okay. I guess I'll go to the next world that I just unlocked. But it was like the seemingly random order and lack of organization around it. I couldn't look away. Probably just speaks poorly on US television that, like, you know, we have a channel called the History Channel that has people that drive ice road trucks for six hours, and then people who believe in aliens for six hours, and then a guy who runs a pawn shop for six hours. We are the wrong ones in the US. If you're a non-American viewer and you think that I'm exaggerating, that is literally what the channel called the History Channel shows. <laughs> it's really bad. 
We used to joke that it was called the World War II channel, because that was really the only history they had enough media for to justify a TV channel. Yeah, learning channel. <laughs> or discovery. I thought we could bust this thing open. Oh, it's probably grenades. Yeah, people would watch it. Honestly, I have no idea why I'd want to split them here. Hmm, that's a good point. Six gun. Good palatable history. So there's something over there, and that's cool. Whoa! Hmm. I know there's a jiggy I can get from going in here, I guess I'll just do that real quick, get out of the way. Thanks for rescuing me from the bile-infested innards of that ferocious sea monster. Just a very big fish. Look how happy he is! He's so jolly! No, honestly, I'm rather pleased. Tankard of my finest ginger beer. Getting cheeky with it. No, 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 no. I feel like that is a song that would very likely get me a copyright flag. But we get them anyway, so... Oh, I should see... whether the episode 2 of Burnout 3 is visible yet. I've, I'm now on the third copyright uh, takedown that I've been uh, disputing on it. Like, I keep disputing it and then it's back up and then another one gets added. Or a different song. Oh, there's a picture of Treasure Trove. That's cool. Which is from the first game. That's right, I remember. I think there's more distance from it now, Ravenon. Six Gun's point was that when the History Channel was actually showing history content, the most palatable, profitable thing you could possibly do is going to be um, World War II. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Feathers... Secret cellar. Oh, it's the top of... Smuggler's Cavern. That's cool. Having trouble breathing underwater? Go see the shaman. I do not have the ability to get to that. Uh, oh, son of a bitch. Crap. I might be able to get back up. I don't have the ability to get to that uh, jigsaw yet, right? Do not. Okay, thank you. So it's kind of like a long jump. Oh, but this is the other one I was thinking of. I just couldn't remember how to get to the room, so that's gonna be neat. This is the one where we had to like fit under the thing. Oh, it's a Cheeto page in one of those fish. 
I guess I'll go get that real quick, because this is a zone transition. How many Cheeto pages do you need per cheat? Very cool, okay. The bear has near unlimited air. We needed 20 doubloons in order to buy the one in the store, is that right? You get on the roof still. All right, I packed that for the Cheeto page. Thanks. of what I thought they said. Can I do the warm water up thing yet? Okay, thanks. Yeah, I guess feel free to freely tell me if something is not possible yet. Maybe after I try like one thing on it. Sometimes it's clearer than other times. You pre roll in the initiative? Nice. I gotta find some time to do prep for DD soon. I was able to put it off and be like, oh, I'm waiting for my players to finish their homework, and they just finished all their homework last night. Like, Shit. I've done the creative prep, but now I have to do the work prep, which is difficult. Waste disposal plant basement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they're on Spriter's resource? If someone's ripped it, that would be incredible. I could even rip off some puzzles. Good call. Jinjo for a level I haven't even unlocked. Yeah. pre-rolling to super curious let me open up a window for this so I don't forget later spider's resource cross code I guess I could rip them myself but 
It would be great if someone got them. No, someone hasn't done it yet. Ah, okay. Sprite Asset Rip. I'll get to it later, but I've got a tab open for it to remind me. Okay, um, let's get out of here. Try getting into the chimney thing on the roof, and then I'll go to the next level. Just trying to get ahead on, uh, Jiggies. Keep calling them Jigsaws, but... I think the official preferred nomenclature is Jiggy, please. Let's figure out what to do with that platform. Right. Right, he can't climb on that. Maybe he can use the height to make it up there, though. No, I guess not. Serious. Ah. Yeah. Can I make that jump? Okay. Thank you. So if I just clear this, ha, 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 ha. I probably don't need it though. I probably can't do anything with it yet. I'm not intended to make that jump. And even though I can't make it, it's not relevant because I need to have Banjo to climb on that thing. Patches on the ground do something. I thought they were just for texture in the level. Thank you. Huh. That seems weird. <laughs> nice revenant. The son of Banjo grunting. Oh. 
think it is. Okay. Skull Beach. Beach Skull. figure out why this one's over here. Maybe because he jumps higher if it's by himself, or she's by herself. Maybe it's you have to send Mumbo over there to put the oxygen in the water. My best guess. how that works. Perfect. Oh, I can't drill. Okay. I don't think it would do anything anyway. Get to the beach of the turtle egg. I still can't open that by the way, right? Shop real quick if I can find it. There it is. Pono. What do you say? I. Glad you're doing business. Help yourselves. that there's exactly 22 doubloons in the whole stage. Yeah. What a goof. Didn't see you up there, buddy. Thanks for whistling. Seems possible, but I don't know if it's intended. There's a way to get up here, I mean. Don't you fucking dare fall there. Oh man. I was about to be very sad. Nope, there are more doubloons. It ain't happening, lady. You need to get rid of Lardy Boy before you learn this one. Okay. Up, sell something else. Okay. Yo. 
Wing whack. Lost the safety that Banjo brings. Defend yourself now with your wings. Whirl them round by pressing X. Useful attack, I think you'll agree. Doesn't rhyme with X because it was set up for N64. Wind them up by pressing B. So that gets me additional horizontal distance, okay. That's good to know. Cheeto page. Let me show the worthless old page. Comes from the legendary Cheeto book. Bet it's a fake. Five doubloons, okay. So there's one that I'm missing somewhere in the stage. At least the eggs are complimentary. Let me check this level here. That's throughout the whole game. Ah, but you're saying that it's possible one of those five Jinjos... It didn't happen to be the case in this level, but there could be a level that shows one missing that you actually get to from a different screen. So three Jiggies, the one Cheeto page, I know where it is. I have to find one more doubloon somewhere. There are a couple progression things I still need. I think. Shows you the level you got it from. Oh, the reason it gave me a Jiggy for the white Jinjo is because there's only one. Where was the white one? Oh, I see. Gotcha. Gonna have to actually be in the stage to see this. Let me make sure I got all the abilities. That's really what matters more than anything else here. The one across the water. Gotcha. Whoops. I actually know where the next level unlock is. It might be this one, but... This one might be, oh, this is 36. Way later. I could just go straight to the temple without having to find the door first, right? Oh, there's a patch of ground? Okay, thanks. to work me there, but then I have to walk back anyway, so... This one, maybe. There is your base queen for her hobos. You were right, Kaimon. Thank you. That would have been annoying to track down. Well, I guess Cheeto pages are the one thing that I don't need to include in the completionist playthrough. It would have to be all jiggies, right? To get all the content? Mm. 
It's cool there's different dialogue based on whether both of you are talking to him. Uh. It'll probably be helpful being the game. We can get him anyway. Sir. Well, don't we need to get all the Jinjos to get all the Jiggies? So I assume so. I think all Jiggies is probably fair. Whoops. Here it is. I'm getting a bit better of a mental map now. I just have to set it down somewhere if it's wrong. Put it down somewhere! out of the way, it was really confusing to read. Thank you, very recognizable rail track thing. Set it down somewhere! There you go. Jiggy Wee's Challenge 5. I kind of love that this game has the Jiggy as, like, a symbol. It's not connected to Banjo being a bear or Kazooie being a bird. No, it's sort of like the mushroom in Super Mario Brothers, right? It's an obvious choice for the silhouette symbol in Smash Brothers, right? Not every game has an obvious choice. Challenge 6, come back later. 28. That's not too far off. Okay, so I don't think I recognize the area where it opened the level. What's it closest to? Seems under the witchy world. Okay, thanks. I 
a busted log ride. Inside another digger tunnel. I like returning to levels. Hey, it's Congo. I just wish uh, the game helped you out a little bit more with like a map, like crossing off the ones that you've been to. I feel that's true of any Metroidvania type game I've played. Now. This is the guy where I fought him the first time and like made it way more complicated than it needed to be. Part of it is just that it's a 20 year old game and we didn't really do quality of life stuff like that then. Not something that makes it easy, just something that like helps you mark where you've been, where you haven't been. I feel like a nice middle ground solution is to give the player the ability to... Ow. Come on, man. I'm super dead. Give the player the ability to mark the map with the stuff that they want themselves. That way it's their own fault if they're not marking it. style the second two hits I think that's probably what most people are complaining about when they complain can't be good for your health Coco. why not retire I'm gonna return for more beatings then work on new potion yeah, I liked Phantom Hourglass. And some of the better puzzles in this series. Alright, let's see. At least I like the puzzles in Phantom Hourglass. Ultimate egg for you to hold, a clockwork bomb that's remote controlled. New egg hype. That'll be all. What makes it clockwork? What? That's cute. Right on. An actual egg. An egg that hatches something. <laughs> oh, really? By, like, shooting it up on the platform? So it can collect stuff for you. What I open, give me a sec. One of you is fake. 
I like them all being on out of phase with each other. That's helpful. Both were fake. Yeah. Pterodactyl land. It's a cool thing for a little. Inside the mouth. You never get Jiggy from Rocknuts Tribe. We got big tough armor. Music's cute. Am I able to fight the Rock Nuts guys yet? I can. Is that the trick to it? Yeah, so you can work, yeah. At least that's how Andrew pronounces it. I know different characters say it differently in the game. He is naked behind. That's clever. Found gap in armor. So four of us left. I think there's at least a couple characters that call him Nasty Nork, but there's I remember a character calling him Nasty Nork. That naked butt. It's very like late '90s thing to do. We were just at the point where, like, kids' TV was okay to have naked butts. It wasn't quite the source of pearl clutching. Guessing I can't do anything with that yet. Game is itchy. Only Spyro says it right, I see. But... We just need fart jokes, right? Gross out humor was really big in the 90s, which is part of why um, Earthbound was so horrifically misadvertised. I forgot I have to turn them in. I have a warp that's near the bee lady, right? Long search is over. 
How many um, mumbo tiles are on this stage? <laughs> Three you can make up, okay. Do the one that's right in front of the building, though, and then switch back. Oh, this works. <laughs> That's a penis gift. That's how I met your mother. It's one of my favorite reversible gifts. That's fairly painless. It's pretty blatantly a penis, yeah. I think I can do some climbing on the edge there and go back. I feel like this is mostly just a convenience though, isn't it? I feel like those things exist. It's like, well, shimming along a wall is too uninteractive. <laughs> Gotta give you something to do. Hooray, one more. No! Nice, nice crab. I feel like they gotta be careful to line up a lot of jumps like that one, you know? It would be easy if you weren't thinking about your level design to make this ledge just like this much further away, which would be annoying. Even though the player has a legitimate way off that island, you know? Doesn't involve the jump shortcut. Oh, cool. I want to become a little dinosaur. So I gotta bring Mumbo over here. Do that real quick. I guess that's one of the advantages is that it lets Mumbo get through there.
Bumbo can use the work pads. Interesting. So I would have seen something different if I had gone in there when I was smaller. Bumbo not welcome. Leave now or be in big heap trouble. Bumbo get out of the pool. But you can swap them, it looks like. It changes the size of the thing she turns you into. Yeah, I thought maybe because there was a mumbo tile there that if I brought him over there it would let me get to the little uh, mogwai thing that you need to pay them. The thing that gets sacrificed brutally. It doesn't even need to be a collectible. I'm guessing whatever she transforms you into changes size based on the size of the wigwam. You just walk all the way around the other side of you. Give me one sec, I'm gonna climb here. Oh, you can talk to her from the mat? I didn't even think that was possible. Daddy T-Rex. So like, adult me is into this, but 2001 me would have been super fucking into this. Especially after the other transformations. Thick boy. I kind of make it up there as a uh, big T-Rex, right? To the metal egg.
Okay, we found another mole location. I don't think I can get this note pickup. I'm too big. It's cool, I'll be coming back in that direction later. Let's go change link cloth. Nice. So the other things in the level that I can only do is big T-Rex before I go transform back. That's great. I'm glad I did that first. Maybe that switch, but that might have worked with the little one too. Are you serious? Has to be with the little one only. I guess maybe I can de-transform and come back. Okay, stepping on the switch resets it. They're like, shit, we didn't come up with enough things to do with Daddy T-Rex. Skip the cutscene. Oh my god. yet in my modified campaign rules. Way too complicated. Ooh, gross. Yeah, so I've moved to almost everything being represented by a card, which is pretty common. But, um... One of the things I've done is I find it's like super annoying to try to track uh, NPCs other than the party that are allied with the party and traveling with them. So I just make these like summon cards that are kind of inspired by summon monsters in Final Fantasy. Where like, you know, if the village paladin joins you on a quest, you have a card that you can use once per encounter that represents the fact that they're kind of there and hanging out and they come in and they do a thing and then they disappear. So you don't have to track their hit points, they're not, you know, unless if the, the plot calls for them to be in danger, they don't actually have a token or they're not tracked in any way, but the players can summon them if they want to to do a cool thing. Better than having like a DM PC following them around. Some errata to improve animal companions. Anyway, I bring that up to say that that's how I would probably rule an animal companion whenever I get around to someone playing a ranger, is I would give them a card that the animal exists now, it has the whole time, but we're going to pretend like it's not there. Oh yeah, I recommend it big time. You don't even need to have a full-on uh, like card crunchy combat system to do that, I think. You can just write down, this is the cool thing they do when you call for their help. And it's assumed that they're there all the time, right? Like, it's not like they're not actually helping you out. But just tracking them in combat is such a pain in the ass, giving them, you know, initiative. 
How does that work, Leon? I forgot that I could work here. That's cool. I can work there. I don't know why that keeps slipping my mind. That's a cool concept. So check that out. I'm gonna call this baby T-Rex. He's so cute. He's a little baby. Uh, just said you use left stick to move, right? I don't have a roar button. Move. Should I be able to open this thing, or maybe it's an exit that I'll come out of from a different side? I saw a couple of those in the level. Maybe there'll be some kind of like switch that we activate that opens all those little doors. See what I can find with the mirror. No. Train station. The train goes pretty far. Yeah, I just hand wave if you have a NPC in the party like that, so like if it's a wizard NPC, maybe they have an ability that turns the floor into ice in a 3x3 three three square zone. That's a free action that anyone in the party can invoke once per encounter. They pop in, like, cast a little ice spell. The monster's standing on its slip and fall or something. I don't have a roar button. It's annoying to track, but at that point I would almost just say they have no health. I'm gonna transform back. Because yeah, all she said was, uh, move him with the stick. She didn't tell me that I could roar. I'm pressing X, Y, B, A. L, R, R, up, down, left, right on the D-pad, start, select. Probably a switch I have to hit to open them. Wow, a new dinosaur. What are you? A vicious T-Rex. You're not that vicious. Oh, here we go. 
Tap X for a short, or hold X for a long one. Yeah, I think that's just another smart solution. Not at me. Oh, no worries. It's kind of weird that you have to learn it. It's cool, I guess. But especially since you can get the big one that doesn't need it, right? Very odd. Okay, hold on. Short, short, long, short, long, long. Short, long, short, long, long. Thanks. Gotta be some specific place where I have to do that with the glittering prize. There's a kazooie thing down here. It's very cute. I hand wave it, basically. <laughs> like Andrea's favorite song, Kaimon. through here earlier on Banjo. here with Banjo and Kazooie later. I'll probably forget. Yep. Dinosaurs roars. It's cute. You can make it. It's steep. There you go. Good job, baby dinosaur. That's the nest. Only when the secret code of the dinosaurs are the she viewers. Okay. Hey, value. I needed 28 for the next level, is that right? Ow.
that was just a shortcut, okay. I don't think I can use him for anything else at the moment. And I've got a couple things I need to pick up as Banjo and Kazooie, so we'll come back to it later. I think there's still one more mumbo tile somewhere. Boulder real quick. Oh, cool. Boulder at the penis observation point. Is it? Train. Oh, it's a train switch. So, sometimes it just explodes if you shoot it somewhere where something can't exist, I guess. I'm guessing I'm not meant to get up there. I imagine speedrunners can do some shenanigans with that thing. Yeah, it's pretty clearly, especially with the little stepping stones off of it. Ken Jeong hangover that gif. Finally saw the first hangover movie and I kind of hated it. I don't know. There are parts of it that were funny and you know no offense to anyone that was a fan. I also kind of disliked Ron Burgundy, which I know makes me a pariah. Because I think Ron Burgundy is pretty much just like, hey, Will Ferrell's, Ferrell's gonna improvise for two and a half hours. Which is fine. I'd love to go see Will Ferrell improvise. Like a, like a comedy show or something. I guess the new Joker movie is from the guy that made the hangover. They were super successful at the box office, so I'm the one who's wrong. But... Secret behind the waterfall. River Passage. Well... Hey, we cut back onto it. That's one way to not get it. Too bad I only have two shots left. 
Is that a legit way to get power-ups like that, though? Wow, it can actually zone transition? That's shocking to me. I assumed it would have blown up as soon as it touched the zone border. I could just walk on that? Okay, thanks. It didn't seem particularly hidden, so I assumed that like there was some trick to it. It's a little bit of cheese use clockwork eggs like that. Yeah. That's what I was saying, I bet it's big speedrunner cheese. Okay, so we gotta grab a ledge somewhere. Those are the shit we need to give you something to do on ledges, enemies. Exciting in the Oogle and Ungo Caves. Thank you. There's perfect bit of advice to give me. Alright, he can't kill them. What's up? Taxi pack. No Kazooie means space in your pack. Way to fill it is what you lack. Pick large things up off the ground. And they go and carry them around. Do I have a sample thing to put in my pack? Oh, I probably need to use this way back in um, the theme park level. Got it. Thanks, dude. I need solo kazooie here at all for anything. Gaha? Uh -huh. uh -huh. meant to be like an exploding rock. A different color than everything else. Yeah, that's super weird. You raise a good point. Sometimes a rock is just a rock. But it's a different color and it glows with different lighting when you shoot it. I came in from. I think it was the other one because I don't see a vine all of a sudden.
Making sure, I'm assuming I can't shoot through there. Okay. Didn't think so. Oh, I see. shape of the pair, but still three of us left. Oh, this is what I was trying to jump up to before. No, this is somewhere else. Let me just make sure I've tapped this area out before I leave. You seem okay. Me let you in. Thanks. Some of the penis rock. Okay, we've seen a couple of those now. There's one on the ground floor somewhere. It's like a boss fight arena. Get out, Unga's cave. Oh. So the one where it said that this place is egg sighting or something? Seconds. kind of secret actually okay so I cannot do anything with the uh, silver eggs yet right Thanks. yeah right separate the characters yet. Oh. Probably because that's a single character thing. I feel like the whole um, you need to have a single character to learn the ability thing is to justify more of these pads. That makes sense. Text on the sides? No. Can't believe Can't hedge eggs is so absurd.
out. <laughs> you said that there's a random chance for that to happen in Speedrunners Hate It or something like that? Oh, I see. Clever. Yeah, it's. I feel like a lot of mechanics in video games degenerate to a key and a lock, um, and it's really hard to avoid that. Like, even ones that are fun still kind of are that, you know? I don't have to wait. Hey, you down there. Get off my precious egg. I want to hatch. Dang it. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to dismiss that. Stop trying to hatch my egg, it's stolen property. Well, there's another one outside that I could do. Now I'm gonna have to remember it for next week. I guess I could just tell you it didn't work, because it's the closest egg you would see to the upgrade you just got, right? Which seems kind of silly. Was there a pad outside to let me switch between Banjo and Kazooie, or split them, rather? What does that say? Bree! Oh. And Gaha. Nice. That's funny. Yeah, there's one outside the caves. That's what I was asking about. Because there's an egg outside the caves and I don't know where there's a pickup for it. You can book them. Nice. Ah. Might be possible. I think it's probably possible with, um, Banjo's thing. Nice. That's supposed to be an analog stick thing? Okay. There's so little of that given how excited they were about the mechanic back in the day. Bring it to his friend, I guess? Or he can put it in his sack if he's by himself. Ah, I see. Hey, thanks, Dividends. Appreciate it. So, 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 says, failing at it immediately. Yeah, it, it looked like I was sneaking on the screen. I feel like I need to, like, put my index finger in front of the stick to lock it into, like, the 
zero to five position, right? Like it'd be fair to do it anything short of about a hundred. Son of a bitch. Alright, one more try doing it the cheese method and then I'll try holding my index finger in front of it. For some reason it was like intentionally trying to keep you from using Kazooie there. Because you have to start mashing it once you get a max height. Wait, oh there it is. Oh, because you drop out of it. So it's easy to miss, I see. Does it only work later after I do something from the other side? Oh, give it back to me, that's weird. Wait, I'm confused. It makes it seem like I still have it. Like, press the button to produce it or something? No worries. Oh, they're not out of phase with each other by default. Weird. Must be like when they load in on the stage or something. Can I get to the other side of it from in here somewhere? Super confusing. Oh, okay. So I can't do anything with the uh, idle until I come in here from a different level. Is tracking that I have it. Do I let me leave up the wrong way there? That's weird. I'll take it away. It's fine. <laughs> uh huh. Because it's just the code just sends you back to the last zone transition, which they assume is. That's funny. All right. Let me drag you further into my cave. Hey, lovely. Party hungers. Are you joining? Yeah, is that okay? Yeah. Playing lots of story. Oh, Banjo Kazooie. The one where the bird is a girl, and I should sure. remember that. She's a big jerk. Oh no, what'd she do? Hey She's everyone! Evil person that's only concerned about getting quest rewards and... Oh, poor Yoda is all gray. Yeah, I was wondering what he was gonna look like. Yeah, this is my Yoda hat. The ears kind of don't stick up quite as much as they should. I was gonna say, Dylan, you're, you are the king of, like... Oh, what's the word? Achievements. Achievements? You are an achievement slut. Yes, I am. Just like Kazooie. Here comes Don't be notes. throwing shade. Not achievements, like... Don't be throwing shade! 
You mean like like mechanical rewards for things as opposed to yeah. uh, making the person happy? It depends on the game. You have to like, well, anyway, this is a game for her that she just wants to get all the achievements. With new rewards, like chests. It's not like you don't want to hear the story, you just want, give me the money. No, no, money, no. money, money. Chests? You are the one who wanted to practically 100. Did you 100% Breath of the Wild? You didn't get all the core acts. No, I didn't do but that. But you got all the shrines. God. You know what you didn't have to do? Go to all the shrines. Why did you go to all the shrines? Shrines. Because you're an achievement whore. But that's not what Kazooie is. Kazooie does this and, like, doesn't want to help people because it's the right thing to do. It wants to help them because she wants a reward. So, like, when people are like, oh no, they stole the children from our village, she's like, I don't give a shit. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what she says. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Cold hearted bitch, man. Yeah, Whatever, you know? Murder, huh, At least she's, you know, straight with them. Don't lie. Tell it like it is. What are you doing? I have to kill this guy. Why? So I have to kill five of them in order to get a jigsaw. And you're doing that for Kazooie. <laughs> That's correct. You don't care who you're murdering, there's this guy, he's just you know, digging his mine. Yeah, I just don't want the in-game characters to reflect how I really am. That's all I'm saying. And I had to hit him in the butt, because the front of him was, uh, armored. Thank you, Ben. We were at a friend's house recently that don't want their cat, like, digging at the couch. I was just like... Do they make, like, scratcher things that you can hang so. over the arm of the couch? You can... Oh, okay. Just for good. I don't know if you could ever teach a cat not to do it. At least our cats. No, no amount of negative reinforcement. Teaches them anything. Yeah. Like, Ben... Now... Because I was getting up really early in the morning occasionally to play RuneScape, he now gets up really early in the morning and starts pawing me in the face. And I'll spray so him with the are. spray bottle and he'll go down. Yeah. He's learned from negative reinforcement. I'll spray him with the spray bottle and he'll go down for about 10 seconds and he'll come right back up. Yeah. He's like soaked by the time I, I finally get up. you all the things. He's so persistent. <laughs> Who's the key? The shape of the bear. Who's the key? Is it Ben? Ben is the key. Is Marty not also the kitty? He is, but Ben is the kitty I'm trying. I see. Which makes him... The kitty. The kitty. Not a day kitty. Say hi, Ben! Hi! Ben. Hi! He has the I fucking hate you face. Well, of course. Hi, Ben. Come on. It's not Marty, that's Ben. Come on. No, Cammy, that's Ben. Come on, you, 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 you. Close enough. Her new thing is she's saying, I'm so frustrated. Poor Cammy. She's learning how to deal with some pretty uh, intense emotions. Things being terrible, yeah. her being frustrated. All right, so is there somewhere I can switch between to, to split so that... Kazooie can hatch that egg. Bendix. Just unplug the monitor. So, did you murder all those guys? I need to murder a couple more of them. Same problem as the other one? Okay. So, I gotta make it up to the nest to deal with the pterodactyl first. That was a new room. I did. One up on the thing. I forget what it was. Really descriptive there. The one up on the thing. Yeah, it's like a cross from Humble Wumba's tent. I think I did. Maybe I'm thinking of the drillable rock near it. I'm head back over there in a sec. That's probably the split thing I need. I'm gonna kill this sad dinosaur. 
do feel slightly unwell. It must have been that caveman I ate, or perhaps it was the pterodactyl dung. They're sick, like in Jurassic Park. So small, and all the girls laugh at me. So you greet visitors. Family isn't keeping too well. See, wait to hear all the problems she wants us to fix. My eldest, Scrat, he's very sickly and needs a doctor urgently. Which doctor? I don't care. Any doctor. Crazy shaman lives on the cliff. Oh, you got shrunk? She took some money from my purse and headed off to the train station. So many problems. Told you so, Banjo. <laughs> it's nice that not every character in this game is bad. At least they know. Okay, I might be able to get up there if I split. Right. Scrot. Go. Do you like the dopey bear sound, Andrew? Yes, I like dopey bears. Oh, hey. All right, we can go get Mumbo. I'm gonna go try to get this ability. I remember thinking about grabbing it. Maybe it uh, gave me the dopamine hit of actually grabbing it and I didn't actually go and do it. It's like saying, I'm gonna go to the gym. All right, awesome for desiring. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I've decided to go, I'm going on a diet. Tell everyone, like, oh, that's really great. Feel really good. Well, no need to actually diet. No, you already felt good. Thank you. Springy step shoes. Legends are out of reach. Jump to get there. I'll now teach. Choose your spot with the greatest care. Only one jump for the bird and bear. That wasn't one of them, but it's funny because this is originally a Nintendo 64 game and now it's on Xbox. The buttons are different, so some of those don't work. It doesn't rhyme. Wait, why don't they rhyme? What does that have to do with the buttons? Because a button might be like, you know, just press B, and now it's like, just press X, and then the next line in the thing is supposed to rhyme with B, not X, right? Can I reach that switch yet? I don't think I can. On that pillar. Or maybe that's what I need the spring boots for. I haven't seen them around this area. There were some fast walking boots that far. Those are eggs, not boots. That works, Rockman. I tell people, I'm gonna go to the gym. Then they have to be the sort of person that's gonna ask you, well, did you go to the gym? Yeah. Some people are like, I'm not gonna open that door. <laughs> that's exciting, going to Japan. I'm going to Japan. Next week, right? No, in two weeks. Wait, don't you have to leave no, next three Wednesday? Weeks. Two and a half weeks? It's on Friday, November 8th. Oh, okay. That I leave. Yeah, I was working on my talk today. I think I made a really badass slide. That slide with the direct detection limits and then the mass ranges that all the experiments can cover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you made your beautiful treasure. So you made a slide that showed... That Hawk is able to look for dark matter candidates that no other experiment can. Because you're trying to argue for the existence of Hawk. Yeah. 
Aw, that was very cute, Ben. That was cute. Mumbo swim. Yes. Hey, Brent. Doing all right? Nice, Kaimo. My sister works at a burlesque bar. When my friend uh, Amy was getting married, we went to the premier gay bar in Columbus and they were having like their 20th anniversary or something. So they had this big show where most of the acts were either burlesque acts or drag queen acts. Actually, there was one that's, um, uh, what is it? What was the song? I'm not a freaking drag king or something. Anyway, it was a. Was it a drag king? No, okay. Yeah, but that's the whole point, yeah. is this is who she is, or he is, sorry. But yeah, it was a really good show. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Google Bubbles Cave, I didn't come in here earlier. Alright, we'll come back later. I also have this image of a drag queen dressed up like Superwoman, and she's like, on her stomach on a swirly chair spinning around. Mm. It's really funny. Does anyone know or remember where the, uh... Pterodactyl, or not pterodactyl, the Triceratops room was. They All the cave entrances are very samey looking to me. Oh, there's a split thing for later. It was on the ground level, wasn't it? I love dry queens. They are so graceful. Apparently you were looking at it. So that's the train station. It's not it. And regal and elegant. Come on. It's one of the caves down here or somewhere? Mumbo can't jump very well. Maybe it's that one that I can't climb up to? To get it, like, go around a long way or something. Shit. Okay. I will try to go around. Poor Mumbo. Not a very good jumper. Yeah. He needs, like, some moon shoes. You probably didn't have moon shoes, right? No, and we saw the commercials, we couldn't afford them. Yeah, they were not as much they, fun as you would have thought. I existed in the world where I thought they were fucking awesome and never they knew were. the truth. No. So, <laughs> some kid out there is jumping really high, man. Only I could be that kid. It's a Nickelodeon product. Probably Google commercials for it. Oh yeah, that's a good call. Oh, does he dance? Does he do a little mumbo dance? No, that rock formation down there. Dream one. One looks like a penis? Ejaculating? Nice. Really, really nice. Nice. I think this is looping around to where I want to be. He keep, well, maybe you can climb on this. Damn. Yay, Mumbo! And then I'm done with Mumbo after this one, I think. For this stage, anyway. This works. I thought you like Mumbo. You should play these games.
Thanks. For beating up my small child. No problem. Perhaps he'll find a girlfriend now. Can you help the other one? It's the other one's actually sick. I do feel slightly unwell. It must have been that caveman I hate. Why does Pterodactyl have a P? Is that like some Latin thing? Do you know? I'm actually not sure why there's such a thing as a silent P. Scrub saying that size matters. Ptolemy. Why is the P even there? It's not doing anything. English is a right mess across the board. There was a reason in the past it's now gone. Oh, they do pronounce it? So that's it's pterod pterodactyl? <laughs> and you're like, that's so dumb. Pterodactyl? Why would anyone say Pterodactyl? Ah, uh, pt pt pterical, p yeah. pterodactyl, pterodactyl, song. Or bosun for boatswain. Uh. When I first heard the correct pronunciation of bosun, I'd seen it written before, but never said it out loud. A what? Bosun? B O A T S W A I N. What the fuck does that even mean? It's like a Why? person on a ship. A boatsman? Bozen. Why don't you just call him a boatsman? Well, it's a, boat, a boatsman. It's a man. It's a ship man, then. Ship him. Anyway, oh when I realized God, when somebody corrected me on the pronunciation, I was like, that one's not on me. <laughs> like, I can't. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, ah, I probably should have known that before I opened my mouth. I kept getting stuck. I had always heard it pronounced mortar and pestle. And I googled it, and that's how it's apparently, that's like the first pronunciation, and pestle is also okay. Then I heard some people say pestle, and you have to use a mortar and pestle a lot in uh, RuneScape. So I kept just like trying to not say it out loud. Yeah, Bosun comes up. I think they just spell it B-O-S-U-N in, uh, in Oberdin, right? Instead of boat swain. Let me see if I can find that other K that was slightly higher up. It needs to be accessible by Mumbo, so that limits where it could have been. It was a slightly second higher up. That's awesome. Maybe it's just like, screw you guys, we're just gonna spell it the way it sounds. Cause we can. Cause we're the Navy. Do what we want. Right? That's what the Navy did? Mm -hmm. Even the spring boots to get somewhere. Yeah, Uga Booga Cave. Wait, fuck that. I realized that they went away after one jump. Let me try taking this one to the one I'm thinking of. These are new to this game, right? Possible? Or is there another one that's closer? Oh, those are four. Just so I am gonna try to leave work early tomorrow, which I probably should be able to leave around four, because I don't have to go to Las Vegas next week because the regulating UPSs that we run all of our equipment on 
are broken and they can't handle the load, so everything's turned off, so I can't do shit. And I talked to Rand, my uh, guy I'm working with, and Pat, my colleague, and uh, they were both like, yeah, don't come out next week. I'm like, okay, great. So now I have all week to do the stuff I was just going to do today, Friday, and Monday. Great. So I can leave early tomorrow because I don't have to, like, scramble to get stuff done. Anyway, so I divert, digress. That means I'll be able to watch like an hour of Goose Game. Oh, nice! Right, right. you're yeah. playing it from four to five. Yeah, Mountain yeah. Time. That's correct. Four to six, man. Was this what the boots were for, is to get up here? Took that one, it didn't take me somewhere special. I don't know if I did this one. Make it put. Still one left. What do the different eggs mean? Uh, there's regular egg. Oops. Just as damage and activates puzzles. There's a fire egg, grenade egg, ice egg, and then clockwork egg, which makes that little guy that's running around. Okay. So you said all of the remaining doors are on this side that I'm on right now? Or were you saying that before I crossed over to the side? Pay attention. I'm doing this in here yet. Over here. Good call name is lame. Train station, there's one I have to get here. Rude ass fake Jinjo. It's not one of the kids. being such dicks to you. You just wander around. Isn't the one of the kids supposed to be at the train station, or are they like in another level because of the train station thing? Okay, thanks. So how fake was ginger. That? Supposed to collect them. They're usually friendly, but in this one there's bad versions of them. And they look exactly the same? Seen them at a different train station? Okay. But they look the same. Hey, we will do this, kid. What's up? You should see something about that stammer. Freezing cold. Cave, no central heating. No Can you food use your either. Fire egg? I'm gonna try that. See? You you get, please jiggy? warm up the cave because I'm freezing today. It's like, you got a jiggy? Well, she can't get jiggy with it without a jiggy. Lots of sub zones. Yeah, it would be cheesy, but I kind of wish there was like a sign over the door that had like a picture of this guy or something. He wants a bag of chips. Junk food. I just told you that he wants a bag of chips. Where do you find chips? I might be talking about the junk food from the Witchy World level. Yep, looks like it. Oh, I don't have that power up yet. Good luck at me remembering that. I haven't been on this side of the electrical fence though. So maybe I get it here? Until I get back out. I haven't done Mumbo yet. <laughs> 51. Is 
So we gotta bring the armored car here. Oh, we were talking today about how our group needs a private jet. Because yeah. right now we have to drive an hour and a half to Albuquerque to get on an hour-long flight to Las Vegas to drive another two hours to get out to where the experiment is. Now, and that costs you money because I have to, I get a rental car and I have to pay for my flight, mm -hmm. you know, but if we just bought a private jet that would take us straight to the test site. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, can you imagine the headlines though? Yeah. Ugh. Physicists want private jet. Already spending X amount in tax dollars to ship people out. Then, to okay, places. I would also. So, can those little prop planes go for like an hour, hour and a half? Yeah, you could do a prop plane easily. Yeah. If they reinstalled them up here in Los Alamos. Yeah, I would totally be down if there was a little prop plane. Went to Las. Even if it just went to Las Vegas. Then I don't have to go all the way down to Albuquerque. Okay, so. Yeah, a little Cessna would be perfect. Is this the kind of pillar that I can climb? It is. Look at that. Is there anything else I can do in this zone? We've only got a few minutes left. I think I... Haven't gotten unlocked Mumbo in this level yet, right? Why do they even let you climb that? Does it go anywhere? Oh, yeah, that's true, Leon. Leon. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we could land in, like, Indian Springs? There's an Air Force base there. I pass it all the time. I don't know if they have a runway. Will they let me use the taxi pack? I thought about that earlier, but like, they uh, they said that I'm a stranger. That's because I didn't have the pack yet. I can get the gate open from over here. That would be nice. I assume that was just Mumbo turning the power off. Is it something else in here? Before I go over that, because I think that's a one-way jump. So I guess I don't know how I get Mumbo in here. Can be done from the other side. to bring the junk food to the guy. What kind of junk oh. food do they have? Hamburgers and fries. Well, that's interesting timing. Toilet battery died. At least it wasn't during a boss fight or something. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave my message to Future Marstead. So, Future Marstead, um, double check this list. Maybe go to a zone that you're low on jiggies. You haven't found a bunch of them. You do have a bunch of new progression abilities now. Witchy Woods one that's Witchy World one that's pretty low that you have uh, the ability to explore quite a bit of. Um, you can try to turn off the gate to Area 51. Um, you can. Try to explore the Inferno area a little bit more that you unlocked last time. Glitter Gulch, there's still quite a few to get. Maybe a couple you can get in Mayhem Temple. Mostly explore Jolly Rogers Lagoon, so I wouldn't go there for a while. And Pterodactyl, there's a lot to do there. Wow, it's incredible how much we did, and none of it was puss jiggies. Uh, but you gotta get some junk food to bring back, too. 
pterodactyl land, and you'll get that from here. So maybe start here, try to work your way back to pterodactyl land. You gotta find whatever the power up is that lets you walk up the walls. With it. And when you do, you gotta walk up the wall and give the caveman dump food. That's right. Cool. Uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. I'll let you guys know what's coming up. I wish this didn't say game over on this screen. I'm just turning the game over. I mean, I guess it is literally true, but. 